and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you for watching this video. If you're interested about dimple piercings, I have an entire playlist dedicated to well, all of my piercings. Um, but I have lots of dimple piercing videos, so if you look in the description box, it's my piercing playlist, and it's linked in that in the description box, and it's always linked in all of my videos. But you can check out that playlist for more information about my dimple piercings. All right, so let's get into the two-year update on these babies. So I don't have a whole lot of stuff to update you guys on. I will give you the update, and then I will go answer your questions that you guys asked me in my video just saying I was going to make the two-year dimple piercing update video and I'll give you questions. So I'll be answering those questions at the end of this video and I'm answering all of them. Alright, so I have some notes so you guys like might see me look down. Um, the first thing I want to say is that they still flare up a little bit. Um, there for a while it was like once a month one of them would flare up and then like the next month the other one would flare up and stuff. And that's not anything to worry about. That's actually like really common with dimple piercings because it's just, it's a pain in the ass spot to pierce, it really is, and they're pain in the ass piercings, I'm not gonna lie. I love mine, I don't regret them, they're worth it to me. But anyway, yeah, mine still flare up, but it seems like the longer I have them, the less and less that they do that. I haven't had a dimple flare up in probably like two to three months, so very thankful for that. Um, and I just still have like my bars. I've had them since I've got them pierced, I still have those in, so. I mean, they don't hurt or anything like that. And just overall, they're doing great. Um, you know, they're... I, I don't know if dimple piercings ever really fully heal, but um, I feel like they're probably as healed as I can probably get them to, to be, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And like I said, I don't really have a whole lot to update you guys on. They're doing great. And, you know, I still adore them. But all right, let's get into your guys' questions. All right, so I just have the questions on my phone. The first one from Stewie Griffin 65 where can I find the diamond jewelry you have? Alright, so I'm not wearing it now. I was going to put them on, but then I forgot. Um, but I usually wear little diamond tops. Um, and I got mine from Industrial Strength. Um, and I bought them at the shop that I got pierced at. But you can go online and you can find tons of other ones um, for much cheaper. The ones I had from Industrial Strength, they're about $25 each. So $50 for both of them. Um, but, you know, I've always said industrial strength is really good quality, you know, and they're, that shit's made to last. Um, but you can go on other, I've seen them on, like, a lot of websites. Um, I want to say I've seen them on Karma 7's website, and there was another one. Um, it might have been Amazon, to be honest with you. Alright, Mandy wants to know, why did mine always get bumps or cyst by the piercing hole? Alright, so typically it's a lymphatic fluid filled bump, if I'm remembering what the fluid is called correctly. And mine used to do that all the time, um, and you know, occasionally mine will still get that bump. And I really just, you can soak it with like a warm washcloth or you know, something like that, and that is supposed to help. Um, I really don't do that, I just kind of make sure I drain mine. Um, and how I do that, I get asked how I do it, um, and I usually, all I have to do is just kind of press on the bump, um, apply pressure to it, and it usually just kind of pops and bursts the fluid through the piercing hole. I know that's gross, and that may not be the technical way to get rid of it. Um, talk to your piercer. I always say that. Talk to your piercer and, you know, get their advice and their take on it. But um, I really don't think it's anything to worry about. You know, it's not, as long as you take care of it and everything like that, it's not going to affect the whole piercing. All right, Natalie would like to know, how can you tell if they're infected? And she nearly got hers done and they are so crusty. Does that mean that they are infected? Alright, so typically for an infected piercing, it's going to be quite obvious that they're infected. Um, normally there's like a greenish yellow yellow fluid that like leaks from the piercing um, and pus, you can say. And it's going to be swollen and it's going to hurt. And if they're crusty, does that mean that it's infected? No, crust, um, like crusties for piercing is actually... A good sign um, it means it's healing and it's just expelling you know all like the dead blood cells and everything that it doesn't need so it's don't worry if they're crusty it's just a sign that it's healing as it should be all right Leanna I hope I'm saying that right hope wants to know how badly do you your cheek piercings work up and how would you take care of them thank you I'm waiting I'm wanting to have mine pierced this year all right, so like I said, there for a while, it was about once a month, one of them would flare up and everything, and 
Typically, I just, it was that, like a bump and I had to just drain it and it was fine within a few days. Um, and how do I take care of them? If you check the playlist link down below in the description box, I have a whole video on how I cared for them and cleaned them and all that kind of stuff. Alright, Sasha Banks wants to know reasons behind your dimple piercing. So I'm assuming you want to know why I got them. Um, I got them because I wanted to. I liked how they looked and I knew that they would look good on me and I just really really wanted all right Rachel Morgus wants to know are cheek piercings as problematic as people say if so do you think it's still worth it um all right so for me my cheek piercings weren't as problematic as everyone said that theirs were um but I think it just kind of depends on you know your anatomy your body and how well your body reacts to piercings um and I think your piercer has a lot to do with it as well you know, if they are knowledgeable in the whole piercing. I know that there's um, piercers out there that won't do cheek piercings because they know that they don't have enough experience. So I think that that's really cool that, they, you know, instead of just making money and doing the piercing, you know, they'll be like, no, I'm not that experienced. You know, you'll have to find somebody else who is. I'm thankful that my piercer, you know, is super experienced and he knows what the fuck he's doing. Um, so I really didn't have a lot of problems with them um, and I really like think it's a lot to do with my piercer um, and then I think it like has a lot to do with the jewelry as well um, especially when you first get them pierced a lot of piercers will put in really long bars and I don't really think that that's necessary um, my piercer he put the bars that I have in now <laughs> like you know and you know there's not really much length on them but I really didn't need a bunch of extra length and you know I really really didn't have too many problems with them. Like I said in this video before, you know, they flared up like once a month and everything like that, but it wasn't a big deal and it's not a big deal. Um, and do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I do because even if the cheap piercings don't work out for you and, you know, they just get irritated all the time and all that kind of stuff, when you take them out, you're going to have dimples. And I mean, that's obviously that's why people get the get this piercing is because they want the dimples whether or not we want like little you know jewelry in the dimples but you know take them out you'll still have the dimples which I think is really really cool because obviously a lot of piercings when you take them out you just have a tiny scar and like nothing really cute so yeah I definitely think it's still worth it alright guys but that is it for the questions and for the video I love you all thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully you will check out my next one